left off, we have dealt with a uh, little Cosmos over here giving us ice cream. Still melted as always, but uh, yeah, let's get back right into it. Uh, in case you guys probably will notice throughout the time, I'm still a little bit sick. It was a seasonal allergy apparently, so um, it's just not going to get any better, so I'm just hoping it can just pass on by the time uh, summer starts, at least around June or July, so hopefully I'll just uh, grow out of it. I'll still be taking my meds, no matter what the consequences are anyway, so, um, but anyway, let's get back into it. <clears throat> Cosmo scoops up a bit of ice cream on her spoon, then pro-offers it to me. I look at her flatly, my brow furrowed. What's that for? It's for you. I want you to say, ah, oh no, it's fine. I tried to refute Cosmo's offer kind of, though it is, but waving one hand before my face? Another big fan of sweets. You eat it for yourself. You've been looking forward to that, haven't you? That is true. I like ice cream a lot, and cake and flan, and tarts and pie. I love sweets. But I love sweet humans too. And you are one of the nicest I've ever met. Wouldn't you let me feed you, darling? If you don't, I'll be sad. I mean, you are my boyfriend. And when did you decide that exactly? Yesterday, when we were on the train. This is the first time I've ever been so close to a man. Huh? Really? Yes, really. Is that hard to believe? It is. A little. I mean, I thought you were a succubus. I am a succubus, but I'm not like my sisters. I can't sing or dance like A.E. can, and I don't have Marina's business sense. I'm not athletic and I'm not good at acting, but I don't have any motivation. Princess Wei told me uh, you are... I was a disgrace of a succubus. She said I never amount to anything. I thought she was right. But then I discovered social media, and a new world opened up before me. A lot of people seem to like my content. I don't really know why, but I'm very grateful. Their love and support gives me strength. I don't want to let them down. AU complains a lot, and Marina doesn't understand my success. Among a sucky pie, I'm a total weirdo. And I'm socially awkward. <sighs> I kind of figured that was something weird about her. I was thinking about that over time. I was like, okay, she's clearly socially awkward by the way she acts. And I didn't bother to talk about it because, to be quite fair, I thought it was just a weird phase that she was going through. But turns out that was actually true. Good lord. All right. I find it hard to talk to people face to face and tell them what I want. Same here. Most people are kind of scary. Oh, this girl's speaking to me right now. This girl is speaking to me right now. I've never been in a relationship before. I can only communicate through a screen. That's what I thought, at least. <sighs> it almost seems like she's speaking towards how my life is now, but Moving on. But then I met you. I felt for you the moment we met. That's why I wanted to be close to you. I wanted to give you everything. My sister might love you, but I love you too. I'm a failure of a succubus, but I still want you to be my boyfriend. Won't you say yes, please? It would make me incredibly happy. Ah, jeez. Cosmos looks and sounds so earnest. I'd feel cruel to turn her down now. I might be in a relationship of sorts with Marina, but she's really not my girlfriend. She doesn't even care much about 
publicity. In fact, she told me this might happen. My sisters will all stop coming after you, desperate to claim your heart. I hope that you have enough stamina to handle all of us. If Marina is okay with this, I guess there's no reason why I have to turn Cosmos down. She's a bit strange, it's true, but she's very earnest. She seems to genuinely like me, at least. Though I can't fathom why. Cosmos has done a lot for me. At least all I can do is give her a bit of affection in return. All right then, Cosmos, I can be your boyfriend. For now, at least. You r really mean that? Yeah, I do. I was just thinking on the train back, it's nice to go out on, on dates again. I'm a little bit rusty when it comes to the whole boyfriend shtick, but I'll do my best. I'll show you around Tokyo and we'll have a lot of fun together. Dating two succubi in one sounds like it's a bit rough, but I think I can handle it. I want to make them both happy. I wouldn't say two. <laughs> and to start, I'm going to help myself with a spoonful of ice cream Cosmos is holding out for me. Thanks for the food. I lean forth and clamp my, my lips about the metal spoon. The gooey ice cream, already melted, spread across my tongue and slides down my throat. It's sweet and satisfying, and I shatter. What? Roki ate some ice cream from my spoon. That's the same spoon I was using. We just had an indoor kiss. That was so nasty. Personally, I was a bit too late to worry about such childish things. We done more, more than share indoor kisses. But if Cosmos is to be believed, and I don't think she's lying to me, she's never had a relationship before. This is her very first time she's done anything like this with a member of the opposite sex. That being the case, I want to satisfy her. As her boyfriend, her happiness is the number one priority. So, if I'm going to be your boyfriend, I'm going to have to lay down a few grown rules. Rules? That's right. I survey Cosmos across the table, my finger and lance together. We're still sitting in a maid cafe, bathed beneath the bright, artificial lights. Cosmos has finished up their sundae with a bit of help from me, and now she's sipping a strawberry milkshake. I, meanwhile, ordered a glass of green tea. I'm not particularly thirsty, but a lot of beverages in this place looks like heart attacks waiting to happen. I don't like, I don't really like sugar at the best times. And these ice creams, ice cream floats, laden with syrup and sparkle are way too much for me. You're famous, Cosmos, so we'll have to be careful. Careful? Cosmos blinked at me in her expression uncomprehending. But why? Why, she asks. Shouldn't it be obvious? How, what planet is this girl living on? If word gets out that you're three million followers, that you're dating somebody, my life won't be worth living. I might get lynched. Lynched? Like the movie director? You've heard of Lynch? I like Eraser Brain. It's one of my favorite movies. Huh. I must say, I didn't expect that. Yeah, me neither. Uh, Cosmos be wearing a pair of cat ears and some very, very tight booty shorts. But she has surprising esoteric tastes. I guess you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. Yeah. Next, she'll be telling me that she's Partic particle to the works of Kubrick's. Anyways, getting back to the subject at hand, 
I'm not talking about the movie director here. I'm referring to the physical act of lynching. Physical act? I like it if you could get more physical with me. I like that too, but we can only do the, those things in private. That's what I'm trying to say. You might not be an idol like AU, but your fans probably love you just as much as hers do. You have a huge following, and it's best most of them are men. They'd be devastated if they knew you were dating. It puts a huge dent in your popularity. Well, why? Shouldn't they be happy that I'm happy? It would be nice if things worked out like that, but people aren't that selfless. I can date you, but you're gonna have to keep it a secret. That'd be best for the both you and me. Hmm. Cosmo stirs her drink with her straw. I don't really get it, but I'm bad at understanding difficult stuff. I don't think it's that difficult. Maybe not for you, but it is for me. You said I'm bad at reading the mood. I swear this is targeting it. <laughs> okay, so hold on. For anyone who doesn't know this, I have Asperger's. I'm, 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 I've openly admitted that before. And one of them is having a hard time understanding behavioral patterns, which means I'm bad at reading moods at certain degrees. I mean, I'm trying to practice them at a certain degree, but are you sitting there and telling me that this bitch has Asperger's? See, this is why I don't, okay. Okay, let's just move on. I can't understand how people feel. Their emotions are too complicated. I tried to understand, but doesn't it doesn't make any sense. Eat. <laughs> I'm pretty dumb. That's why I keep saying to myself every fucking day, man. But you seem smart, Hiroki. You are sweet and kind. I know you want the best for me, so I'll trust your judgment. I won't let anybody find out about us. I promise. Thank goodness. I'm glad convincing Cosmos wasn't that hard, but I'm perturbed that I had to bother convincing her in the first place. Shouldn't this be common sense? Unfortunately, for most of us like this, uh, not really. If your legion of fans finds out about me, they'll tear, tear me limb from limb. Dating a celebrity might be every guy's dream but it's m a lot more hassle than it looks. Popular girls are hard work, especially popular airheads like Cosmos. No shit. Hey, hey, Cosmos, Um, I have a few questions. Yes, Hiroki, what is it, darling? You said you were going to keep our relationship a secret, didn't you? That's right. I wanted to tell you how much I... Okay, clearly she did not get what I meant when I said that. <laughs> this dumb bitch! Come on! We had one chance! Come the fuck on! Why would you do something like this? But I kept quiet for your sake. Oh, thank God. I was about to say... I was about to say, you can trust me, I can keep a secret. I'm very glad to hear that, but, uh, what? You gotta be kidding me! I, I, I this is, this is, this is gonna be a problem for all of us. How the fuck am I gonna deal with this now? She wants to keep this shit a secret. Yeah, you just fucking did. Well, what's next? This bitch started an OnlyFans because she's like a dog or something. Fuck's sake! I, 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 I give up. I, I give up, man. Fucking hell. We're not being very secretive right now! Cosmos and I are walking through a crowded street like any lovey-dovey couple might. 
No, scratch that. No lovey-dovey couple would do what we're doing unless they have some specific kinks. After our date in the cafe, Cosmo would ask if we could go shopping together. I was happy to indulge her whims under the Kevin't <sighs> that she keeps quiet about this online. She agreed readily enough, and I thought it would be smoothly sailing from there on, but I was mistaken. Not five seconds after we in exit the cafe, Cosmo swapped out her kitty ears for a pair of fake doggy ones attached a tail to the back of her shorts then kneeled down to the ground she handed me a lead when she had it in her pocket why was she carrying that around exactly and then clipped it around her neck now she making me walk around the streets in public just like a dog talking about embarrassment <sighs> I guess I couldn't refute the weird suggestion of hers though to be fair I did try I asked Cosmos blankly I narrowed what on earth she's doing and she said she's trying to make me happy This is the definition of what TLC is literally posting. Like, what the fuck, man? Is this a TLC show right now? Like, like what the fuck? You are my boyfriend now, so I belong to you. I can do whatever you want with me. Won't you let me be your puppy, Wayne? That's what she said, and she looks so earnest. I felt obliged to take a hold of her leash. I didn't want to make her cry. At the time, I thought I was doing the gentlemanly thing. But I courting a lot of stares, which is to be expected. Middle-aged woman gives us a wide berth. Her, no, their nose wrinkled while a few high school students call words of encouragement and gives us thumbs up. This generation is fucked. This generation is fucked. Hey, K Day, look at that. It, I've seen guys walk their dogs, but I've never seen them walk their girlfriends before. Don't stare, Akira. It's rude. I can't help but stare. Have you ever thought of doing that with your main squeeze? squeezes Kade with Hiromi and Mako you must be kidding they never agreed to something so degrading I don't know about that didn't Hiromi dress up like a bunny girl in a costume for you at one at school what, 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 how did you find out about that what a cute well-behaved dog I wonder I could get myself a pet as obedient <laughs> don't you think you she knows any tricks Maybe she can roll over and shake paws. Hmm. I'm surrounded by degenerates. The youth of today is disgusting. Thank you. <laughs> Comments. Well spoken by sharp tongue, eagle eye, housewife, kind of smart. But I guess it is to be expected. We expect it. <laughs> we are pretty blazing. I wouldn't be surprised someone's called the cops on us. So much for keeping a low profile. Yeah, this has officially became one of the worst times ever. What has society come to, eh? The world really has gone to the dogs. <laughs> Good one. Hey, now that I'm looking at her more clearly, isn't that girl kind of familiar? Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh. Eh, she is. That's right. I'm. I'm sure I've seen her somewhere before. Crap. This might be bad. We're going to get discovered. I tug a cosmic lead. My palms slick with another sweat. 
Come on, Cosmos, we have to go. But why? Cosmos blinks at me, a hangdog, an expression of a cute face. We're making a lot of people happy. They're all looking at us, aren't they? They might be looking at us, but I don't think if that's a good thing. In fact, I'm certainly it's not. We might look like a pair of perverts. There's nothing wrong with being perverted. Cosmos wrinkles her ass, which is barely contained by her boots. I dressed up in a naughty outfit before. They don't seem to mind it then. In fact, they like it. I just want to make everyone smile. They won't be smiling when they figure out who you are. We need to go fast. I gave Cosmos a lead another sharp yank. Desperate to escape, but I'm too slow. The penny must have dropped because a few pedestrians are staring at us with a newfound intrigue. This isn't Cosmos, is it? Cosmos, the famous rap founder? No way. That's Cosmos? I didn't know she had a boyfriend. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this officially went down the drain! That guy's one lucky son of a gun, whoever he is. Grr, I'll knock his block off! How dare he... Dare he do something so brazen? He's the worst! I'd like to shake his hand. How dare he take our cute lit Venice away from us? He's unforgivable! Oh, f well shoot! I knew this was gonna happen. This is precisely what I warned Cosmos about earlier. The streets are swimming with guys. They're glaring at us but less evident with their narrow eyes. Are they going to murder me? Farewell, cruel world. My 29 year I lived. Weren't always happy, but I rather attach. I was rather attached to this mediocre life of mine. At least. I never have to see my hair turn gray. Now, now, maybe it's not her boyfriend, but her social media manager. And I'm sure this is just a publicity stunt. All right, that's a good idea, Carter. Um, I guess she could, he could be a photographer? I wonder if he's got a camera in the bag of his. I bet Sagey would know if he was here. Isn't he into taking for photos? What? I thought he was into space. The voices of the two high school students, Akira and Kade, are they called, drawn me out of the panic slump. I stared to my savior's eyes wide and cried out, yeah, that's right. I'm Cosmos photographer. We came to do a photo, photo shoot. Look, I opened my shoulder bag and then drew my camera relieved that I carried it around with me so frequently. Ah, so that's who the guy is. I guess it really isn't Cosmo's boyfriend. Well, duh. Why would a gorgeous girl like Cosmos date a boring guy like that? See, when she's around, I'm pretty sure that this is also meaning that she's going to get blunt, which I don't like. You're not wrong. She could have anybody she wants. I can't believe she's. we were getting so worried. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny. As if Cosmos would ever like me. Slowly but surely, the bloodlust in the air evaporates. Looks like these guys are buying my excuses. Why bother telling them the truth? Lying is so much easier. <laughs> Even though I'm a terrible liar. Huh. I do like you, Rookie. Don't you remember we all cut that bitch out? Let's go. We need to do another photo shoot out of the way. Ugh. I dragged Cosmos along behind me. My heart hammered all out the while. Cosmos might be cute, but she's dumber than a bag of spiders. Yep, no shit. Is this what Marina meant when she told me to watch out? If I'm not careful. Cosmos might end up killing me. I'm gonna end it here. I, I swear, I'm gonna end it here. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to see more of this, please make sure to leave a like. Also, hit that subscribe button if you want to see the channel. This has been Zach, guys. Later.